Sotatsu and his followers are, are, are often thought of, of having um, formed a sort of decorative school of Japanese art. There are layers of poetic meaning in them, but on the other hand, they were able to use techniques that really made you delight in the form. What's so wonderful about the poppy screen and why I think it resonates with Murakami's work is this use of a metallic ground. It's a background, but it's not a background. It could be a sunlit sky, and in other parts of it, it's the ground. And you merge ground and sky, and it's all a flat gold. But on the other hand, the gold itself begins to shimmer, so that there's some depth to it. So that tension between something that is flat and something that has some depth, there's some play there. You also see it in the way that the poppies themselves are executed. They do not have a lot of outline to them. And so that the way that the paint itself is, in some cases, allowed to run, um, to flow, gives it a certain dimension to it. And again, that allows against the gold ground to have depth, but not have depth. There is a great deal of sense of control in all of Japanese art. So for instance, the leaves on these poppies. Yes, the, the pigment bleeds in places. It's not an accident. It's a control technique that looks like it's more accidental than not.